Hello everybody. Today we have a mega powerhouse of a smartwatch. This is called the Lempho Lem5 3G smartwatch. And yes, you heard me correctly, 3G. What does the 3G mean? This pretty much means you can put a SIM card in this thing and you do not need uh, a separate um, smartphone to actually make and receive calls. You can do everything from within this little device right here. Now this little device comes with uh, a built-in um, MKT 6580 quad-core processor uh, clocked in at 1.3 gigahertz so that's pretty fast for something of this size. I'm just turning it on right here and you can see the lovely Lem4 Lem5 logo come up. There's a lot of graphics going on, on the screen there. Now I mean this comes with a lovely looking uh, strap um, has uh, active um, buttons on the side here and also this button in the middle actually turn like a real watch and I'm going to show you that in a second but it looks to the naked eye like a real watch and it is a real watch but it has a lot under the hood so here's the, what the screen looks like so of course you can hold this down and you can actually select various uh, uh, watch faces right um, it comes with all of these by default so FYI I haven't really done anything to this watch. I just took out the box, turned it on for the first time and as you can see um, it comes with all these cool uh, watch faces, right? Um, and uh, here's another one here. All right, you can actually see the minute hand moving in real time. And let's drag here. Again, it's so easy to just change. You just hold your your, your finger down on the touch screen uh, for like about a second or two and then it goes into this mode where you can select your various watch faces. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly cycle through these other ones, and these all come by default. Obviously, you can download more custom watch faces, um, but right out the box, these are some of the cool ones that you get. This has this uh, matrix looking feel to this one. This looks like the matrix. Um, yeah, really cool. I mean, whatever, is, whatever tickles your fancy, uh, I'm sure there's a watch face that you would like. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have here? You know, so you have some really like standard ones, uh, some pretty you know, plain looking ones, and then we have these outrageous looking animated uh, designs as well. Um, right. So here's some more screens. Uh, comes with quite a few. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's like a dozen, but you get okay. One. Let me see how many is that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's some more here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. The transformer-looking one. <laughs> fourteen. So you get about fourteen watch faces. This transformer one looks pretty cool. But like about this, it gives you um, the watch battery indicator there. You have the weather widget there in the lower left-hand side, um, and then the date and time and all that. So yeah. And then of course that I'm sure that, that thing on the outside is most probably a pedometer. Oh no no, that's the seconds. See it actually moves in real time. Uh but what I love more is the touch screen. You can actually just touch the screen and then you can swipe to the, so when I'm swiping left you get the dialing um application here. Where here is where you can see all of your calls, your calls that you've made, calls that you've missed, your call log pretty much. And then if I swipe backwards, you get back to that dialing um app. Then let's go keep going. Here's the contacts page. So of course I have no contacts, but here's where you get access to your contacts. You can refresh the screen as well. Um, and then you can sync your contacts with so of course this does stand alone as its own watch. You can make and re make and receive calls. But obviously you can sync this up with uh, either an iOS or an Android smartphone. And of course then you can sync up all of your contacts like you normally would. Um, so that's what you can do through this application here. And then if I keep scrolling, scroll back this way. Here's your SMS uh, app where you can access your messages. All right, so I can type uh, uh, type text message here. There you go. And you have your little mini keyboard, and you can type type your messages right here. All right, when you're done, just press done, uh, and then you can send it. But of course, I'm not going to send anything. So let's go back. So what else do we have? That's SMS. Um, heart rate. So this is your heart rate monitor. 
So you click on that icon to start measurements. Now at the back here, here's our sensor that does heart rate measuring. Um, and there's also an external speaker that you can see on the back there for um, when you're making calls and stuff and you want to use the speaker on this thing. Uh, you can talk through, uh, of course, talk through and uh, listen through the speaker. Um, here's four pins here that you use for charging. I'll show you the little charging dock that it comes with, uh, which is pretty decent. So there's a charging dock that it comes with. This actually comes out. It's mini USB. All right, plug that in. And here are the four gold pins. And I just plug this into like a laptop. So I'm gonna plug this into my laptop here. Here's my laptop. Let's plug this in. And then I just simply rest this and align these pins here with these gold pins like that. And that's it, it's charging. Alright, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Alright, and it seems to be, yeah, there is a magnet that actually clips it in place. So as you can see, it just sticks on there like that. It charges the device, and when you're done, it comes right off. And you hear a little, that little beep. Alright, so that's the charging bay. Now this does come with, uh, as I said, a 450 mAh battery. It has a 3.5 um, hours of talk time on a 2G network, 2.0 hours of talk time on a 3G network, and standby time is 100 hours. All right. right now I'm at 56%. I had this on for quite a while, so it's, uh, the battery is not too bad. Um, now when it comes to sensors, yes, it has that pedometer. And it has a heart rate monitor, GPS, and it has the G-Sense as well. Now, size-wise, 6.2 by 5.3 by 1.9 centimeters in size, which is, a, as you can see when I put it on my wrist, a pretty large, uh, pretty large watch. Um, it weighs a mere 89 grams, so it's, it does feel like a decent size watch. Um, so 89 grams doesn't sound like a lot, but for a watch, yeah, it does have a bit of weight, but I'll be honest with you, it doesn't really feel that heavy on my arm, on my hand. It uh, it's actually uh, feels like a regular uh, watch with a with a you know with a lot of horsepower. Uh, casing is stainless steel. This is a nice blue one that I have, um, and I as I I might I must say it does have a really nice build quality to it. It doesn't look like a cheap watch, so executives would definitely love this. And as you just noticed just now, the screen automatically does come on when I do, you know, tilt it up. So it's off right now. If I move it, the screen comes on immediately, which is pretty cool as well. Comes with 802.11bgn um, Wi-Fi, of course. Now, this thing is also IP55 waterproof. All that means is you can't... I wouldn't recommend swimming or diving in this thing. But, you know, if you're outside and it starts to rain a bit, or if you're running and it's a little drizzly, yeah, it can take that kind of stuff, right? Um, but I won't, like, put it in a glass of water for, like, an hour or so, right? But it is IP55 waterproof. And as you can see, it did have a built-in MP3. It does have a built-in MP3 player, MP4 player, and sound recorder. So it does come in two colors, um, black and uh, silver. So I guess this is the what they will call the black version. This is a dark blue actually to me. Um, it's black with a, with a bluish tinge to it I guess. But it also comes in silver. Um, and it comes is compatible. I mean as I said it's an all-in-one watch with built-in um, SIM capability for a phone. So it's compatible with you know an Android Android device is 5.0 or higher or you know your typical iPhone right. I have an iOS um, 8.0 and higher it's compatible with as well and what I love about this this is my first watch that is actually a all-in-one phone and smartwatch I don't need a smartphone to make or receive calls but now as you can see this is a pretty sizable watch so you know this is my man wrist my man hand and it's a pretty large watch so if you're into large watches uh, with gorgeous screens like this one um, definitely and then look at this look at the, the build quality of the strap right has that leather look to it has a nice big buckle 
um, and it's designed to be taken off and on put on quite a bit without fraying you have two st two um, stabilizing bands here um, it's professionally really really professionally done um, so this isn't you can tell this is like an, an ultra cheap watch it actually is a very affordable watch and you get a lot of functionality for the price so let me just press this and it's measuring my heart rate now as we see here so 54 beats per minute and it says that is slow and that is good because it's Sunday and I've not driven a stroke all day <laughs> so that is pretty accurate um, so let's keep going so sport mode I click on that I can see here a couple of icons um, one shows some feet in green that would be my pedometer so of course the more steps I take and that icon will actually go around the screen and the more I do uh, the more green you see in that circle right so it's a good way to track uh, your, your steps and then there's another one there as well in the middle little yellow one uh, that tracks another one of my vitals as well uh, pretty standard so like most smartwatches have these um, tracker apps that track your heart rate and your steps and everything so uh, this is just another version of it so apps mode so here is where you can actually see your file manager you can go in here um, you can see how much memory is used and what's available so right now I have used up about 531 megabytes so that's all the pre-installed apps but I still have 12.23 gigabytes free so that should give you an idea of the amount of onboard storage that you have now um, here is the Lem4 watch um, information page it tells me here uh, my Bluetooth connection status so this is Bluetooth 4.0 compatible um, it tells you, you know, when you're connected, you can actually set your mode here uh, to vibrate when you get messages. Uh, you can play sounds when messages arrive. You could turn on the screen when a message comes in. Um, you can find um, find the target if you're not sure where it is. So find my target. I have no idea what I mean by that. I'm assuming it could be, and I believe, if you are tethered to a smartphone, you can't find your phone, you press on that. Your phone will buzz or something like that and you can find your phone here's where you do your file transfers and here is where you can actually download the mobile app for this so what of course you would do is get your smartphone um, and then you just uh, uh, scan this uh, this icon here and it will actually take you directly to your apps page where you can download the app uh, for this watch so it's pretty convenient <laughs> all right um, here is where you set your alarms let's go back oh, here's the app store so here in the app store Facebook whatsapp YouTube stock quotes currency check Chrome health reminder uh, these are some of the apps you can actually download on this thing right um, so let's go back out here now there's a barometer as well all right, built-in barometer. I mean, geez, what more can you ask for in this watch? It does everything. Uh, of course, there's a browser. You can browse the web. So this does have in built-in Wi-Fi, um, and I am hooked up to my home Wi-Fi. So this button here is like your back button, All right? So I go to my browser here. Um, go to Yahoo, for example. All right, you can actually see uh, and browse the web. And funny enough, I mean, the screen on this thing, it's um, a 1.39 inch screen. Um, of course, as you can tell, it's multi-touch, multi right? Capacitive uh, screen. Um, and it has a resolution of 400 by 400 pixels. And you can see that here. Funny enough, you can actually browse the web on this thing pretty comfortably. That's pretty impressive. Uh, let me just press here, right? This is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and that, that explains why the watch is pretty large. You know, you'd want it to be not too small that you can't really surf the web, but you can. And what I like about this as well is that the watch actually adjusts the font of the website so that you can read uh, the font pretty um, comfortably, right? Um, 
So this is a really cool feature on this on this watch. Now it comes with a 450 milliampere hour battery, um, eight gigabytes of onboard storage. Um, unfortunately, there's no memory expansion slot, but with eight gigs of onboard storage and a gig of RAM, um, you should be pretty pretty good. Now it says that it comes with eight gigs on paper, but as you can see, when I did check the uh, memory status, I had like 12 gigs available. So I think this may be the 16 gig version that they have. Right. Nonetheless, you do have a lot of storage space. So let's go back here to um, my apps here. So of course you have a calendar. Right. Let's go back. And here's you can check your downloads. Here you have all the storage. Right. You can actually uh, put music on this thing and you can play it. And because you have the Bluetooth 4.0 capability you can get a set of Bluetooth earbuds or headphones and you can play your music from your watch directly into your headphones uh, and while running right so you don't have to run with, a, with an additional phone all your music could be on here and you can play your music on your on your Bluetooth headset right so this is perfect for uh, working out right no bulky phone um, and here's the Google Play Store now what I uh, give you another surprise so you must be asking yourself well this looks like the real Google Play Store what OS is on this this is a true Android 5.1 device right there's no there's no um, proprietary OS on this thing this is a true Android device so this comes with Android 5.1 which is a lollipop um, so you you know pretty much there's quite a few apps you can run on this watch. <laughs> Here's a sound recorder. Testing, testing, one, two, three, Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Okay, save it. Let's see if I can play it back. Right, I have access to play. Oh, right here. That's my recording. Now what else is here? There's a weather widget. No weather info right now. You can do a voice search. Give me CNN.com. And here we have CNN.com. So let's get out of here. What else is there? So the last one is your settings, of course. Here is you reset your Wi-Fi. Um, you can set your connect settings, your Bluetooth, your cellular network. Is you can actually see the the status of that here, and here is where you can actually set your airplane mode, turn on your GPS, as well as set up a VPN connection. Uh, you put your emergency contact information in here, and date and time is in here, and in here is where you can configure your display, brightness level, sleep mode, interface style, wallpaper clock. Um, display on radio notification. Here's your sound configurator here. We can set your volumes, various volumes of um, during gameplay, ringtone volumes, alarm volumes. Um, what else is in here? Vibrate mode, of course. Power saving mode. You can do text to speech. Reset the device. This is where you do everything in your in your um, settings page. Uninstall apps. And there's even more settings here where you can look at the battery level right now I'm at 63 percent set your language and input right right now it's set for English United States that's what you normally use so it's everything you can do at Google voice typing is set on automatic it's uh, a, a Swiss army knife of functionality in this little watch right set up your messages message settings message notification so that is that so one other thing I want to show Right, so these are all pre-installed, and thanks to the fact that it is an Android 5.1 device, you can pretty much access other apps through the Google Play Store. If I was to swipe down, here is where you find your notifications, and if I swipe up, here I can actually see the date here, my battery status. Right, and then what I can do is what I swipe up, I see this. If I swipe now to the left. Here's where you can access my Bluetooth, see my Bluetooth connection setting uh, status, my um, Wi-Fi connection status, 
um, and here is where you can also um, turn on the palming oops palming bright screen so pretty much if you put your hand over the uh, device I think the screen goes off and then here is where you can actually turn on and off power saving mode and um, here is where you can actually zoom into your display and then here is where you can actually set your brightness level so there are three brightness levels here as well if I swipe across here this is a very cool feature and you find this on a lot of modern day Android devices sometimes you have like a lot of unopened app, no, sorry, apps that are opened and you're not using them anymore but they're taking up valuable um, RAM which could slow down your phone so the feature that I find it and it's on this watch as well there's this thing called clean all where it actually can put your optimize your device so erasing um, you just press it like that so it will erase any apps that are taking up memory that you're not using and pretty much optimize your phone um, so that it works properly uh, I find that with um, devices like these if you have a lot of stuff open uh, after a while if you don't have a lot of RAM right available RAM the performance of your phone or your watch starts to degrade and you can see that when if you're trying to run an app the, the screen doesn't move smoothly or the animation is not smooth in the game and stuff like that so optimizing your um, device by going here and clean and all fixes that problem with one touch of a button like that so this is optimized clean is finished and then if I swipe again here is where I can actually see uh, uh, the weather so the weather widget uh, tells me right now the temperature and as you can see it's a nice warm minus two degrees Celsius where I am right now right so that's that right so that's just a quick run through of the pre-installed apps and the screens and stuff that you have on this watch it takes nano sims right so the modern day nano sim um, now one thing to note I'm sure you're asking what about the uh, the band uh, compatibility so this is a world watch and by world watch it works with all the major bands so so on the GSM band it works it's compatible with uh, 850 900, 1800, as well as 1900 megahertz bands, and for WCDMA, uh, what we call 3G here in North America, um, it works with 850 megahertz and 21 meg 2100 megahertz bands. Uh, so that that's uh, just in case you're wondering in your region if you're 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 subscribed to a telephone provider that does work on those bands, uh, you should have a, should not have a problem using your watch. Now let me just show you how to access the SIM slot in this thing to put in the SIM card. My nano SIM is here. I do have my little kit. You can get one of these trusty kits from any like uh, I actually got this from the dollar store to be honest. But you can get these kits anywhere. Comes with all these cool cool tools. I will have a link below the screen where you can get this actually. It's a really cool kit. Comes with all these cool little mini uh, screwdriver sets for you know when you're doing uh, precision uh, unscrewing like this so this mini uh, mini uh, Phillips screw works in here pretty easily so just take these screws out don't do it over a dark carpet because then you'll be spending hours trying to find these screws <laughs> so here's the inside of the device you put the light on it a little closer that is right there as you can see the electronics and right here is where you have the sim card slot now before you put the sim card in I think before, actually I just would recommend strongly before even opening the back of the device to turn it off <laughs> so let me do that now what I recommend doing get a small flat head let me see me a small flat head here and uh, I just slide this that way I just slid it this way and then you just pull this up and it opens up like that so it actually has a little arrow on it that, that says to slide it that way and then you just hear it click and you just open the door so the sim card goes in so I just put the sim card in here and I just clip it's in place that's it done let's put back on this, this the cover now and make sure you remember the orientation of the cover and you can't really make a mistake with the cover because what you do is just make sure that the four pins on this side 
line up with the uh, four pins inside the watch. So when I press the button at the bottom here, and I hold it down for a second, or two, or three, here is where emergency contacts come up. So that's what that button does. Now we learned this is the back button, and this actually turns on and off the screen. And if I hold it, it turns off the device, and it can also uh, press, I have an SOS button as well, and here's um, reset button, so I can actually just reset, restart the device. All right. So to dial, go to this app, which is the very first one, press dialing, and I press this, and here is the dialer. So here's where you actually dial, make phone calls. So I can dial, let's say, say 555. Five. All right, and I can just press the green icon and it will make the call, right? Now you must be asking yourself, can I replace the strap on this thing? Now technically you could, uh, because actually on the back here there are these clips on either end which you can uh, just pull back with a small flathead screwdriver. But I would not recommend doing that because in this on this particular brooch there is actually a little cable which runs in in this lower strap is inside the strap, and it serves as, as an antenna, right? Because it is also um, a phone, right? Because it has phone capability, and that little wire actually runs from the strap into the phone. So if you were to take the strap off and pull, you're actually going to disconnect the antenna from the uh, solder solder uh, um, point on the integrated circuit board on the watch itself so all that being said don't replace the straps <laughs> keep the straps in place um, because you need you want to have that antenna hooked into the phone so that you can use the phone right now if you want to get your hands on one of these lovely watches click on the link below this video right now and you can get them now feel free to leave comments below like this video if you like it and come back for more great tech and gadget reviews and also always feel free to check out our website at redtechbot.com and uh yeah enjoy so until next time guys take it easy this is richie signing off bye bye hi everybody so i hope you enjoyed that video now two quick things that i need you to do right now one is hit the subscribe button below this video and I strongly urge that you do subscribe to this channel because what we've started doing now, end of month giveaways. Now to be eligible to win uh, a prize at the end of the month, what you have to be, you have to be subscribed to this channel. So subscribe, press that subscribe button below. That's step number one. So it's a two step process to be eligible to win. One, subscribe. That's very, very important. Two, go on to our website at www.redtechbot.com and on that website, on the top right hand corner there is a newsletter uh, that you must subscribe to enter your email address in that and that's it you are eligible you'll be eligible to win our, our end of month uh, prize draws now I just repeat myself one more time number one hit the subscribe button below this video to subscribe to this channel that's one of the requirements and two you have to go onto our website at www.redtechbot.com and subscribe to our newsletter in that newsletter, you'll get all the details about what's being given away at the end of the month, uh, who the winners are, and other important news as well. And in terms of getting more information on how the drawer is going to work, and you know how we're going to pick the, uh, the individual, how we're going to communicate, and everything, uh, all the details will be on our website as well at www.redtechbot.com. So until next time, happy gaming, and have a good one, guys. Okay, so see you later, guys.